Good afternoon, friend. Here we are. It's um, almost the middle of October. And as you know, in the previous two videos that you've watched here on Toddle Inn with Roadside Stories, we've been following my grandson Colton and his bid to be part of the provincial and then moving on to the national uh, track and meet events here in Canada. So he's had three big races. He's done extremely well. Today is the third, third of, um, of the races that he has to complete in order to be one of 16 entrants. I'll make sure that that's correct when I see Colton. I pick him up from school this afternoon and then uh, we're heading off to the Alder Grove Bowl again. Um, the video prior to the last one will show Colton's first race in track and field and how well he did. And then the second one was out in Abbotsford. And then today we're back at the Alder Grove Bowl. And uh, I'll get Colton to explain how it works, where he has to place, and, um, and then in his hopes to make the provincials, and then hopefully move on to the nationals. And he's really excited because if he gets to the nationals, that is going to be in our nation's capital, Ottawa, Ontario. And what a treat for a young lad who's 15 to represent um, his, his area in, uh, in the uh, Nationals in Ottawa. And so we're going to wish Colton all the best this afternoon. And I uh, thank you for joining us here on Toddle In with Roadside Stories. Um, just before we go to Colton, our um, fifth wheel, the Grand Design Reflection, is winterized and it's put away for the winter. We live in a northern climate here in Canada. Although we're along the coast of the Pacific Ocean, right next door to Washington State in the province, the beautiful province of British Columbia, we do get um, winter-like weather. Not a lot of snow, a lot of real uh, hard freezing days, but enough that you want to cover up your trailer and protect it and winterize it and protect it from any freezing. So that's why you're not seeing the grand design reflection. Um, we'll be doing more roadside sto stories with Toddle Inn uh, this spring and summer as we head to Ontario and then hopefully beyond. So our plans for 2022 include a trip across British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and when we get to Manitoba, we've got a big decision to make. Do we head south into the United States and then across to Chicago, Detroit, and into Ontario, either at Sarnia um, or Windsor? Or do we take northern Ontario and then head straight uh, east and then towards southwestern Ontario, which adds about another 500 miles to the journey? But that's all in the planning stages, and um, that'll be our trip, our first trip in the um, reflection, and we're we're really looking forward to that, to getting back on the road. But so in the, in, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy some of these roadside stories with Toddle Inn. Now, let's talk to Colton about where he hopes to place and and his aspirations to make it to the Nationals in Ottawa. Here's Colton. Hi, it's Colton. Today I'm here at the Alder Grove Bowl. This is one of three qualifying races to go to the Eastern Valleys. In order to get to the Eastern Valleys, you just have to compete in two of them. And to move on from the Eastern Valleys, I've got to come top 16. If I do that, I'll go on to the Fraser Valleys, which is regionals. From regionals, I can go to provincials. And then if I get past Provincials, it's on to Nationals in Ottawa. So when, do you know when the Ottawa races would be, Colton? Um, probably around January into the new year. Because it takes a while to plan all that, yeah. So I asked you, they run cross country in the winter in the snow. Yep, they do. How do you prepare for that? Uh, wear extra layers, <laughs> under layers, sweaters. It gets cold and bring extra socks. And yeah. is that where you would use spikes on the shoes as well? Yeah, you could. I personally prefer not to because I don't like the feel, of the, the feel of the spikes, but yeah. Okay. Well, good luck, Colton. And I see there's a group behind you here. 
they're uh, they're practicing. Yeah. So there's schools again from all over. Yeah. Do you know where most of the schools are from? Aldergrove, Surrey, Langley. Actually, maybe not Surrey. Aldergrove, Langley, Abbotsford. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do to prepare for this race? Warm up and then run. And it's four kilometers? Yeah, four kilometers. And then how do you know the route? Uh, they tell you it before and they've got people standing at each of the corners. Okay. They kind of direct you where to go. Okay. So no getting mixed up? No. It's going to stay in... Route, yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, Colton, thank you. And I, Grandpa wishes you all the best and all the luck. Yep. And I'm going to toddle in over there and take some more video and uh, we'll see how you do and uh, we'll cheer you on to victory. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Colton. Okay, Colton, any pre-race jitters? Oh, not really. I'm a bit tired, but it is what it is. Just got to run the race. Yeah. yeah. And then, what are you doing after the race? Trying to find some water. <laughs> I think that's my fault for not considering what uh, Grandma had brought yeah. the last time, a little snack and some water. I had water. I just drank it all at school and forgot to refill it. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's fine. So after this race, you've got soccer practice. Yeah. Boy, how many sports a week are you involved in? Just go. Uh, three, sometimes four. Yeah. So what are they? Soccer, volleyball, track, <laughs> sometimes basketball, and other soccer teams. So. So looking around here, there's a lot of there's a lot of students, a lot of participants here, eh? Yeah. How many do you suppose are here? 160. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, good luck, Colton. I, the race is going to start probably in a couple minutes, so we'll keep an eye on you.
Tired of 